Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is a big time Friday on FIFA Ultimate Team, and it's kind of a Friday where there's a lot of uncertainties, and that's what I'm here to talk to you guys about today. With the end of summer heat, a lot of other content that people are looking towards and want to come out, what is going to happen today? Is summer heat going to be extended? We're going to look at some people that we're talking about, some possible leaks on Twitter. We're going to be looking at other SBCs and other content that could come today, how that could affect the market in all these different ways. And if none of that happens, we'll talk about what happens on this game as well. If literally no content comes out and we don't see any new SBCs, we don't see any new extension of the promo or anything like that. We'll talk about all that in this video today, of course, as well. A potential player of the year SBC that could come out today as well uh, because that voting is 100% happening today uh, it it's gonna depend on the time it might be leaked but if you have a De Bruyne if you have a, a Henderson uh, you know those are kind of the Mane I think as well are kind of like the top three guys is who could win player of the year in the Premier League we've historically gotten an SBC for those and the card that has been released has been the same ratings and same stats as the team of the season card. So imagine if Kevin De Bruyne wins today a 99 rated SBC card. That would be nuts if that is something that would come out today. Uh, of course, that's not for sure or anything, but we'll talk about the impact of that SBC if it did come on the market as well. But again, the big news today, and, and this is what is on everybody's mind, batch three of Summer Heat. The cards go out of packs. Basically, 90% uh, of the SBCs that are in uh, in here right now a lot of these upgrade sbcs the prime icon it all expires in a few hours from now later today 6 p.m uk all this stuff goes away right the guaranteed pack goes away the prime icon upgrade uh the vidal stays for a little bit longer some of these summer showdowns stay for a little bit longer this pack sbc stays uh and then i think the daniel james objective as well goes away at this time frame as well yes this goes away in 14 hours so then this is all done right so that is all done, and that has a lot of people thinking that this promo is going to end, it's going to be done. It's just weird, right? The only thing that's a bit weird about this is it was only one week for batch number three. Now, of course, batch number one and batch number two was two weeks apiece, and that's how we thought it was going to be. This is how it was last year. Batch one, two, and three was each two weeks long as a part of the footies promo last year, which is exactly what we're seeing this year. I honestly still think that Summer Heat is footies. I don't expect a footies promotion after this, unless EA, I don't know what they would do with footies, but I feel like this is basically what footies was last year, is exactly what this Summer Heat promo was, and then some. So that's what I'm feeling for this promo, and that's kind of how I thought all of along. Uh, but if Summer Heat really is ending today, let's talk about this for a second. If Summer Heat really does end today and nothing drops today at 6 p.m. UK, what happens to the market? Well, basically, if nothing happens today, there's no content. There's no new SBCs. What you'll probably see is you'll see some cards continue to kind of rise up into the weekend. People buy some cards that maybe they were, you know, waiting to buy just to see if there was any content that was released today. Um, you know, some stuff did go up with rewards. Some stuff went up a decent amount, right? Like this, uh, same maximums, 490,000 coins. Uh, and he was like 450 two days ago. Some of the tots cards rose. I was watching some of these, I shouted Lala yesterday, right? In the low 200,000 coin range. What is he right now? I'm pretty sure he is upwards of like 240. Yeah, this guy's like 240, 230. So this guy's up like 30,000 coins from where he was last night. A lot of these cards have risen back up. Uh, and that's what I would expect more of. If no content comes today, I would expect the market to just continually rise a little bit more. And that would also kind of signal to me like the end of the game. If we don't get any other content or any other promo or if nothing is extended today, that would tell me that FIFA 20 is basically over, in my opinion. Now, they might do a few things for like Champions League stuff that's coming in a couple weeks. But if nothing actually comes today, it would make me think that this promo is over and it's really starting to focus on FIFA 21. And we'll talk about uh, FIFA 21 in a second as well because there was a lot of information released on that yesterday. So let's say no content comes today. That could happen. Let's say no content comes regarding Summer Heat, but EA drops an SBC that everybody wants them to drop, and that is the Prime Icon Moments repeatable SBC. Now, we were a bit surprised when this Prime Icon dropped, right? A little bit surprised, just a smidge. Because we weren't really expecting it. We had wanted it for a long time and it finally came out and they, they dropped it. 
that's, you know, we, I feel like the prime icon moments is still a bit of a stretch. I don't know if, if, if EA would actually do that. If that SBC did come out, how much would it cost? Well, the prime icon upgrade right now is an 88 rated squad, and that was honestly very cheap. I was surprised at how cheap this was when this first started. A lot of people crafted, you know, 20, 30, 40 of these over the whole course of the Summer Heat promo because they were just able to do upgrades and then put their high rated TOTS cards and high rated duplicates into this SBC. I've opened probably like 10 of these myself this week. And it's just been fun to craft these upgrades and be able to potentially get something sick from them. If there is a moments SBC that does come out, it will definitely at least require two segments. I think it'd be an 88 rated squad, possibly like this 88 rated squad with 55 chemistry. And I feel like they might tack on, you know, maybe an 85, 86 rated squad on top of that. So it might be a two squad or maybe even three squad solution, but it, there's no way it can be as cheap as the prime icon upgrade. And if that did come out, you would see people go bananas for that SBC. Prices would be panic sold, the market would drop a lot, and fodder would go sky freaking high because that means that if, if summer heat is over, none of these team of the season cards are in packs anymore. So if people are trying to open packs or for somehow if they are still upgrades out in the store and summer heat is over, these TOTS cards are not going to be getting supplied anymore because right now on the market, we have some very, very cheap uh, fodder prices on this game. If you look at some of these TOTS cards, right? Not 89 rated players are 21,000 coins. A lot of these TOTS cards are just pushing down because they're getting supplied, supplied rewards today. I said this yesterday, rewards was going to drop the market a lot. So if you want to do a club stock on some of these high rated cards, 88s, 89s, 90s, 91s, 92s, I don't mind it at all. Um, they're not going to release an SBC that requires more than an 89 rated squad. At least they, I don't think they ever have required a 90 rated squad in my days of FIFA. I don't think they've ever done that in the past couple years. I think 89 rated has been the highest, I think. I might have to check on that, but I feel like that's the highest. So that's why I wouldn't really go too much higher than like a 92 rated card for fodder. Uh, but a lot of these team of seasons are very, cheap, are very cheap and a lot of these special cards are very cheap as well. Basically 87s and up are pretty cheap because uh, there's all those special cards in packs right now that are just pushing them down. If a moments SPC would come out, these guys would absolutely fly over the course of the next couple of weeks. So if you're interested at all in club stocking some fodder, this could be a chance to do it. Of course, if there's nothing that comes out today, this stuff is probably going to stay the same price, maybe trickle upwards in price a little bit because there's still some SBCs that are out in the player section that require some high rated squads and people still have fodder in their club. So they might be more inclined to go finish off a couple of those SBCs that are there and i do think you would see fodder maybe trickle up a little bit because we've had so many players added to that new player section so many sbcs rather added to this player section uh if the game is really done for and there's no new sbcs that come out i still think you would see some stuff kind of trickle up right because people that maybe didn't complete jovic yet or Firmino, uh or you know some of the other cards that came out during summer heat uh like i think oh dava the Wiz is another one of those who it was no expiration there's a lot of those cards that were added in here during Summer Heat. Uh, and if you have not completed, like Langley, Usman, Dembele, um, those are all cards that were released. And uh, Franck Ribéry with no expiration date. Paul Pogba with no expiration date. So there's still a plenty of SBCs that are out there that people would go and try to finish up. And I do think fodder would go up. So if there's no content today, that might be something that you do. 6 p.m. UK, you don't see anything. No moments icon. No re-release or, or extension of the Summer Heat promo then maybe you go out and actually club stock some fodder because that stuff could kind of rise into the coming weeks as that is something else people could still do on this game. Now, I want to talk about the other scenario and that is summer heat getting extended because it just seems like we should have a second week of this, right? We should have a second week of the summer heat promo. I don't know why this wasn't made a two week batch three to begin with. And a lot of people are looking at these two objectives right here and saying, hey, these expire in seven days. This makes us think that there's going to be a second week of summer heat. My argument to this is EA cannot put out an objective like this for seven days and think that a lot of people in this game, especially casuals, are going to be able to complete it. I know it's only winning 10 rivals matches, but the amount of casuals that are in this game winning 25 rivals matches, that's going to take a lot of casuals way more than one week. It's going to take them two weeks or more if they're really grinding for it, depending on what level they are in the game. 
you know, you have people that are just, just starting out FIFA that probably can't even win one division rivals game to obviously pros and top hundreds that can win 25 and 0, get all those rivals games done to get this objective done. So I don't really know if this really is pertaining to the, the length and the duration of summer heat, but I think it's very possible that we have a ultimate tot situation, or I think it might've been, was there a week of foot birthday or ultimate scream where they extended the promo an extra week at the end? I think that's happened a couple times this year where they've kind of just re-upped the promo. And I think it was ultimate tots where they kept those cards in packs for another week or was it rewards or something? Um, and I think that's the most likely thing that would happen today. I know we have everything expiring in here, right? We have so many things that are expiring. It would be so very easy for EA to re-up these 81 double pluses, the 82 to 88s, the prime icon upgrade for one more week, the tots guaranteed for one more week. Last year, we had this tots guaranteed that came out, and then we had the tots guaranteed. It was a uh, guaranteed a top five league team of the season card from the guaranteed pack. Now, it costed a little bit more, but it was worth it because you were getting a top five league card guaranteed every single time. If that does come out this week, it'd probably be out for one more week and it'd be like the second week as an extension of Summer Heat. What would happen to the market in that case? I feel like you might just see, you wouldn't see a lot of panic selling unless there's a big player that is released as like a Sissoko, right? That a Sissoko card is still supposedly uh, in the code as what would be an SBC player. If the Sissoko would come out today, uh, that would be big time movements for the market as well. So I think the most likelihood thing of happening today would be a summer heat extension. The batch three cards would stay in packs or maybe they would put all team of the seasons in packs and not just a select few. I'm fine with batch three being in packs again, honestly. Uh, I like the select cards that are in here. Uh, so that's kind of my feeling for today. I think the highest chance of something that would happen would be summer heat being extended for one week and the upgrade SBC is being re-upped. I guess there is then the potential of the 84 double plus and the 85 to 92 upgrade SBCs to be re-released. That would be dope. Um, but I would expect we get some sort of player today. Like it's been every single Friday for the past, like what, a couple months, we've had something related to a player SBC or something like that. And I don't know if EA just wants to let this game go downhill now, even though they started releasing FIFA 21 content and FIFA 21 news and info. I don't know if they're really just done with FIFA 20 just yet. So that's the big question for today, but those are my thoughts on it. Speaking of FIFA 21, I'm not going to spend a lot of time talking about this because right now there's still stuff happening in FIFA 20. I'll focus on FIFA 21. You know, they came out with some of these features today uh, with the new icon, uh, Cantona, and the uh, on the mobile app, if you actually look at this, the mobile webpage, it says there's going to be 100 icons in foot. Uh, which means there are a lot of them still that they have to release. Career mode got updates. There's gameplay fixes and updates. Uh, the Volta stuff they talked about and then whatever, the unrivaled authenticity. There's a lot of rumors that are swirling around right now. Of course, the co-op gameplay is a big thing as well. I'm not going to focus too much on FIFA 21 until, until we start to get concrete evidence, which is going to be in the month of August is when they're going to start putting out uh, special releases on Ultimate Team, on Gameplay, on Career Mode, on Pro Clubs, on Volta, and on stuff like that. It's probably going to be like one release per week for the month of August is what we're going to see with that stuff. So that's I'll focus on more of that stuff then, and I would like to enter into that conversation then. But as for right now, don't read into it too much because there's still a lot more information that we do need than what we have at the moment. So still, I would just say hold off on that a little bit. Uh, but it is hype, to, I guess, to see the new stuff starting to come um, out in FIFA. Now, this is the last thing I want to talk about today because this could be a potential massive market movement as well. Today, again, is the um, Premier League Player of the Year vote. Just to show you guys an example, Van Dyke was the winner of the Player of the Year last year in FIFA 19. And just to show you what happens with these SBCs is what happens is the vote happened last year. Of course, it was a lot earlier. It was in April. This SBC came out on April 28th. Uh, I believe this did not come out the same day as the voting. I believe it came out a couple days after. I could be mistaken. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but this SBC, if they do release a player of the year this year, I think EA would still do an SBC. And that gives us the potential again for a 99 rated Kevin De Bruyne. Because if you look at here, the... The Van Dyke SBC, which was released April 28th of last year, and the Team of the Season card for Van Dyke that was released on 
as you can see here, May 17th of last year. So what is that? Like two and a half, three weeks after the SBC was released, a team of the season card was released with these exact same statistics. So if there is a SBC this year, if De Bruyne or if Henderson or if Mane end up winning this award, it's probably going to have the same stats as the Tots card. And can you imagine this card having an SBC with a different card type, right? With a card type like this, but maybe De Bruyne isn't actually holding the trophy. I don't know how it's going to go with COVID and everything. If he's actually going to get a picture like this, because there's no award ceremony. They're just kind of announcing the winner. Because there's, like you can see, Van Dyke is dressed up. This is at the award ceremony. Same thing with Sterling. That's what it's been for the past couple of years. But since there's no actual award ceremony, um, it'll be interesting to see what actually happens. But if an SBC does come today, I would expect an SBC for this card to be nowhere less than a million coins. Probably going to be, somebody compared it to the likes of the Hazard Moments SBC. And I feel like that's, that's pretty realistic, right? For what you could expect. A price like this, 1.2 million coins for a card like this, or for a card like a 99 KDB at this stage of the game, and a lot of people would do that KDB. Heck, I would do that KDB 1,000% uh, because that card is mental, and that would be a crazy card to have and tradable in the club. And since it's an SBC that people could just go out and do, a lot of people would do that, and a lot of cards, th this would make a lot of, of market crash happen. Uh, because people have to sell cards to go do this SBC. So just be on the lookout for that today. Again, it's not guaranteed that we do get an SBC, but that is a potential happening that we could see today. And I think that would impact that would impact the market almost just as much as a Prime Icon Moments repeatable SBC would. Just because of the amount of hype, a 99 rated card has never gotten an SBC on FIFA Ultimate Team. This was the first year that we ever had an SBC for Messi, right? Uh, and this would also be the first year, if this happens, that we would get an SBC for a 99 rated card. That's crazy. I don't even, that would, that would make the market go nuts if there was a 99 rated card in an SBC. So just something to think about today, uh, as we do come up to the, uh, content drop time as well. Of course, there are some people that have been leaking things on Twitter. Uh, FIFA, you... Uh, Utita is an Italian uh, FIFA Ultimate Team account. It's basically like the the leak source on the Italian side of things. And they said earlier today that Summer Heat is not over at all. There's more to come with the eyes emoji. So, you know, making you and leading you th to think that there's more coming today with the Summer Heat promo. So just be careful with that. Take that with what you will because it is leaks again. And leaks are not all the time correct, but they oftentimes are. So, you know what? It's just a crazy Friday. And my advice to you is, if you want to play Weekend League and have fun, shoot, we don't even know what Weekend League rewards are this week. If they're the same Summer Heat rewards, hopefully we get some, you know, hopefully we just get good communication with EA and they tell us whatever's going on, whatever they decide to do, hopefully they communicate with us well and tell us exactly what it is so that we're not left in the dark on anything, even like Weekend League rewards. Because are Summer Heat rewards done? We don't know. Are there going to be TOTS cards or Team of the Week cards in rewards? If it's not TOTS cards and the stuff that we've had, then is there a point to playing Weekend League? Probably not. So that's all kind of the questions and stuff that we're wondering today on this Friday of FIFA Ultimate Team. If you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.